Hello everyone, my name is Ebulon, welcome to another video. As a cute gamer, sometimes I don't know why I love the villain guy. I will bet that you love some of them. So in today's video we are going to count down top 10 most lovely villains in the game industry. Which you prefer not to kill them, just be friend with them. Before we dive to the video, I really appreciate it. you click that subscribe button and like the video. Or don't, just watch the video. Let's dive to the video. Number 10, Todan. System Shock 2. Her ever watchful presence on the Von Braun spaceship means you have nowhere to hide. And she has a similar penchant of making you her personal laptop. In between sketching taunts, but what makes Shodan so exceptional in her relation to the player you created her? And she's still plotting to kill you even during times. Reluctant aliens. Shodan didn't just sit around while the hacker was sleeping in cryostasis. Either she conducted the biological experiments that spawned the parasitic entities, which then proceed to kill or poses all your crewmates. That's graduate for you. I am Shodan. Number 9, Dr. Robotnik, Sonic the Hit. If we were to go down the villain checklist, Sony's arch nemesis Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman to some would cover all of the base. He's an evil genie, as dreams of world domination, is a master of robotics and like to steal really big jewels. But the main thing that makes him stand out from the crowd in his lead and utter disdain for the adorable fluffy creature of Sonic's war. Robotnik doesn't use gasoline or battery power to run his mechanical contraptions. He enslaves rabbits, squirrels, and birds, then shove them into robots designed to kill that speedy blue hedgehog. Who knows what horror those cute little animals have to endure in those machines. Number 8. Pyramid Head Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is ultimately an introspective journey about fighting personal demons, but you have a much more real threat in Pyramid Head. He appears sporadically throughout the game, brutalizing anything in front of him as he silently stalks the hallways of Silent Hill, equipped with just a spear. Preplexing headgear and seemingly unending fortitude, Pyramid Head look as creepy as anything in the game, but he has a power to back up his threatening looks. The implications of his appearance and detestable actions mean for James Sunderland's physique are dire indeed. Number 7 Voss from Far Cry 3. There's a reason that Voss became the poster boy for the entire Far Cry franchise, despite only appearing in Far Cry 3, and it's not his taste in Time Top. He gives good, crazy like no one else, all thanks to his voice actor Michael Mando and the monologue about insanity that was inspired by Albert Einstein. A drug trafficker, pirate, and a kidnapper, Voss also enjoys enslaving his fellow islanders and meets the game's hero Jason Brody when he catches a gap here gang and throws them into his prison camp. Of all the villains on this list, Voss is among the ones you might actually prefer to the plan. White bread hero you're playing as, even if he might set you on fire or shoot you in the knee during on one of his bad days. Number 6. Andrew Ryan, Bioshock. While there are plenty of video game antagonists that have uh, commanded our fear, few actually demanded our respect. Andrew Ryan is a rare villain that does both. Building in a sprawling metropolis at the bottom of the sea is the triumphant display of Hervis, and the rapture was the failed experiment that cost thousands of people their lives. Its ambition is admirable. Ryan wanted to do something crazy, and he almost made it work. That alone is worth a claim. But with his passion comes to a dark, dangerous side, and Ryan makes it clear throughout the game that he's a man. And you are a slave, you obey orders, you do what you're told, you follow anyone with a radio. He on the other hand is a man who does what he wants, even if that is to demand you beat him to death with a golf club. In the end, his stubbornness leads to his demise, making for one of gaming's most complex characters. Number 5. Albert Wesker Resident Evil. First scare is known for scared psych, superhuman strength and speed and a sexy pair of stung glasses. And despite 
being one of the more cartoonish adversaries in an otherwise green franchise. You can't help but love Whiskers on, on Brilliant Megalomania. He led the stars team in the original Resident Evil but was double agent for Umbrella, Wesker soon struck out on his own, making brief appearance in the next four Resident Evil sequels, continually plotting and shaming by Resident Evil 5, he was ready to unleash a global viral infection as well as kill former teammates Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. He took hundreds of bullets, two rockets and an entire volcano to stop him, but we won't soon forget the man in black. Number 4. Ganon, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Unlike many of the other villains on this list, Ganon's strength isn't in his characterization. The only things you ever need to know about the Ganon are that he's evil. He wants to rule the world, and Link and Zelda are the only ones who can stop him. Ganon's strength in his mutability, somewhere between taking over Hyrule as a Grotto King and an inoccur enough time and hunting the castle as the Calamity Ganon in Breath of the Wild. It became clear that Ganon isn't meant to be a single, defined character. Ganon is evil, like evil in our own world. Ganon can never be completely contained or eliminated. He'll always appear again in a new form suited, subverting the peaceful ways that arise in his temporary apps. But no matter how great his power seems, when people unite and rise against him again in true form, a shrieking orange haired overground swain will be revealed and beaten back once more. Number 3. Frau Angel. Wolfenstein to the new Colosseum. Being a Nazi automatically ensures you are an actual worst and deserve to go straight to the bad place, but somehow Rao Iron Angle manages to be the most monstrous characters in the game that features Adolf Hitler. In Wolfenstein 2, it's not her mangled face that makes her so apparent. A result of your last encounter with her it is her sadistic break that beasts every interaction, watching her with her daughter Sigrun, one of her six children, is especially unnerving, a torch of humanity making her all the more real and all the more frightening for it. Number 2. Bowser in Super Mario Bros. In terms of sheer staying power, nobody beats Bowser. The King Koopa has been a thorn in Mario's side almost as long as games have existed, and he's almost always the reason for trouble in Mushroom Kingdom. Even when he's not a main villain, Super Paper Mario, for example, he still manages to make a grand entrance and let his presence be known. He's not particularly violent, nor has he destroyed the world like some other entries on this list. His motives are often left unclear. Sometimes he wants to marry Princess Peach, sometimes he wants to rule the Mushroom Kingdoms, and he pretty much always handed his tail at the end of the day. But he's simple, classic design is unmistakable, and for a cartoon dragon turtle, he's pretty intimidating. Other villains may be a better, but few are more iconic than most. Before we dive to the last one, I really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button, if you enjoyed the video and like the video and say your thoughts in the comment. My name is Ebalon, thank you for watching the video, let's dive to the last one. And number one, GLaDOS, the portal. Didn't we have some fun though? Remember when the platform was sliding into the fire pit and I said goodbye? And you were like, no way. And then I was all, we pretended we were going to murder you. That was great. Quests like that are what pushed a GLaDOS to number one on our best video game villains list. Your journey throughout the various prills of Aperture Labs wouldn't have been the same without this snarky, auto-tuned commentary of the one-eyed robot and her big intentions both in the original portal and portal 2 were equal parts hilarious and horrifying we'd love to see her make a return in any kind of portal sequel but we're aware that's probably never going to happen until then we'll continue to sing still alive and Reminis almost finally on that time she went evil in portal and then made a deadly return in the sequel just don't mention the cake you win, just go. <laughs> it's been fun.